Hi everyone, today we will demonstrate how to make a real clock. Real clock which means it's working. Not only just model, a static model, it is dynamic model, which means it will represent the real time in each second. How we will do this? We will do this through Dynamo. In Dynamo we have here button which give you choice between manual and automatic and periodic. Normally we recommend to use manually, especially when the script is big to avoid crashing in program. And uh, automatic it is not big enough and periodic it will run each second. And this is what we will use in our case. Periodic, then now in, in, in the computer it is 831. It is 831. And the second is running like this. It is a real watch, a running watch. And it is parametric. You can control the diameter, you can control the position. I will show you how, but first we will switch this to manually. It will stop because it become very heavy. Uh, first of all, we will control the diameter. This is 7 meter. If I want to make it 4 meter, it will become 4 meter. If I want to make it 17 meter, it will become 17 meter, like this. Back to 7, I like number 7, it's holy number. 7. And the position. We can control the position if we will put the x 5000, which means 5 meter. It will come in y direction, so it will come up. If we will use the same to the x, it will come to the right. Because this is a normal x position in this direction, y position in this direction. But we will not do this. But this is give you indication. If you want to use it in anywhere in the project and put it in any diameter you want, uh, let us go for the Dynamo <coughs> script to explain it how it will work. This is one nice note called date time now. It will give you the time, and we depend on this note, give you the time and date at the time you are requesting running. If you're running in each second, it will give you in each second. And this one, it will com make it in, uh, in, in components. Years, months, day, like so. So if I will put it this in periodic, it will give you in each second. See, in each second, it's flashing. And then we will put it in component second and minutes and hours. If we run periodic, it will be 8, 24, 25, 26, and the minute change every 60 seconds. Okay. Now we'll go for the interesting uh, part of the Dynamo script. How we control this? Now, now, now we have these numbers in each second connected with the computer hours. But how we can use this in our Dynamo script in this family? This family is parametric. This hour, if I put this zero, the hour it will come here zero. The hour arm. I don't know in English what this. Uh, but our arm will come here if we put this zero. Each step of this, each one hour is have to convert it between angles, radial angles to the hour uh, parameter. Mm -hmm. We have 12. This 12 is representing 360 diameter uh, radial angle. So each 30, it will give you one hour. So I will put this 30. It will move from here to here. If I put it 60, it will move from here to here because he will start the family from this. This is zero, but in our case, it is not the zero, it is 90. So, in our script, we add 90 here. So, to adjust the hour, 
so if I want to put it zero which mean it will be minus 90 oh, this will minus 90 if I put it 90 exactly it will give you on 0 12 I mean here if I want to put it in 1 o'clock I will add to this one uh, 30 which mean I will minus to be 60 when I put 60 it will give me here and so on this is in the hour and the same for the minute and the same for the seconds here how we can do this in dynamo for example for the second it is 37 uh, I will start with hours the hour is 8 we will take this 8 I will explain this later and then this is the hours and then we will map it map to 300 60 degree starting from zero so the zero is the minimum and the maximum here is 12 so he will map from 0 12 to 0 360 this is very very magnificent uh, node in, in, in he will convert from 0 to 360 to 0 to 12 on prorata basis it is very nice so it will give you the number it will add 90 as we know and here it will give you the hour in 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 in, in the way we know it it is eight o'clock or something so when we run the, the hour it will give you like this now it is 8 37 it is 8 37. if i click on on this one it will give you the equation the second is it changing every second and the hour is 168 by the equation which I explained this is how to control the second and the minute and the hour by this one uh, all this uh, script it will be uploaded to my channel after I finish this is my channel if you like the video you may subscribe to my channel it helped me a lot uh, one thing before I left uh, but first it makes it very heavy so it's better to make it on normal manual This one is to put uh, the name and the date on here. So if you if you run the script, it will give you Friday. Today is Friday, 30 October, and it will uh, give the my name and the the date in each three seconds each three seconds it would it will change uh, as i told you told you uh, all this uh, file and uh, the script will be uploaded to my channel you can download it and enjoy this uh, 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 wall uh, or floor uh, mounted uh, clock you can use it in your project it will be uploaded to my channel after I finish if you like this video you may subscribe to my channel it will help a lot thanks for watching